How's it going guys? Welcome back to the community farm. So, in today's video, we've got quite a bit of work to do, but there is uh, two things that I wanted to chat about real quick. One of the top rated comments on the previous video was to, I'm guessing, get rid of this, but I'm not going to do that because the comment said, get rid of the east cow building. There is no East Cow Building. There's only one cow building, and that's the one down there. This is sheep, not cows. So, um, I am going to take that as a misunderstanding um, of the map, and not do that and delete the building. Just yet, anyway. If you still want to go ahead and delete it, well then, um, yeah, let me know. Because it was voted to sort of get rid of this and, um, yeah, plow this into an arable field if I'm not mistaken um, but this is not a cow shed this is for sheep there's only one cow shed which is down there so I am not going to be doing that today and then someone else also said that the sugar beet area um, should be closed up and turned into a huge industrial area and all that's all good and well but we've only got $61,000 so um, yeah that ain't happening um, there, there wasn't, I don't, I don't think there was any votes on that one, but I just wanted to mention that, remember, it has to be financially viable. Um, also, I had to sh uh, change the gator out, so we've got the base game gator, uh, not the new fancy one, uh, because the, the other one has a weird glitch, something wrong with it, where it messes with the audio, it makes this weird scratchy noise on the audio, and it actually messes up my recordings as well, sort of the video, um, of it so I don't know what the deal is with that but I had to get rid of it and um, so we have got the normal little gator and um, but on the agenda for today um, we are gonna be doing a bit of plowing and all so we are gonna change well we're not actually not gonna change this field and um, we are gonna plow this entire field in and we're gonna reseed it with grass but we're gonna have to do plowing and liming and um, then do seeding so we'll get to that I don't know if we'll get all of it done today but we're definitely going to try and then we also still have to do um, baling we still got the straw to bale on the other field so we'll do that and um, also the bales that we have over here and um, they are busy fermenting. They're all around 70% if I'm not mistaken. And the vote so far is to sell it and take the money. So um, this will probably be ready maybe by the end of this video. So if by the end of the video they're ready to sell, then we'll go ahead and sell them. If not, well then you'll have an opportunity to vote on that again. Uh, for the next episode. But we're going to get all of this unloaded or unhooked real quick. Get the weights off and get the front loader off. And um, we'll go grab the baler. And well, actually, maybe we should just keep the front loader. Because we're going to have to lift the bales anyway. Although, we don't have a trailer. So, um, we've only got the one trailer and it's fully loaded. And if we are maybe going to sell all of that today... Well, then I don't want to be unloading all of it just to reload it later on. And we don't have another trailer. Although, uh, we'll keep it on. Because we have got um, that gooseneck trailer. We can use that because there probably won't be a huge amount of bales. Um, so I'm just going to drop the weight off for now. We'll have to come back and pick it up uh, when we do the bale collection. Um, it just helps a little bit so it's not so sort of front heavy um, but this is quite a big tractor so it's not strictly necessary um, right let's lift that up a little bit where is the baler it's over here I think yeah all right very good so we'll we'll get that we still don't have any chickens either so there has been no comments in terms of um, livestock whether we should get any or not there sort of been mentions of oh when you get cows later on or you get chickens later on and that sort of thing but no one has actually said oh get chickens or get sheep or anything like that so um, 
I'm guessing you guys are, are holding off a little bit in preparation um, for it, I guess. Right. Let's... Um, well, we'll do the Endros first. Um, drop that down. Beautiful. This um, tractor does str struggle a little bit with this baler. It is quite a big baler, and I think the tractor is about 20-ish horsepower down on actually running it, or recommended power. But, yeah, it does okay until you get to an uphill, and yeah, there's quite a steep uphill here, so we'll have to see whether it copes or not. Probably won't, but we'll figure it out anyways. Otherwise, we'll just have to go from the top down to be a bit of a slow process, but if we have to do it, we'll do it, but let's see what it does. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll surprise me. I don't know. But yeah, other than, um, other than that, oh, um, yeah, not happy. Yeah, not happy. Four kilometers an hour. Yeah, not good. I think it'll be much quicker if we just drive up and just go downhill. So we'll finish this row and we'll finish the, um, the end row up here. And then we'll just go down and drive back up with the baler turned off. Yeah, this is not happy at all. I mean, we could probably put this thing behind the the big tractor, um, the Ellis Chalmers, but, but um, I don't know if it'll work that well. I think it'll be a bit awkward because the tractor is so big. We are going to use the other tractor today. We're going to use it for plowing. So we're going to be plowing in that whole grass field. And we're going to try and make it a very high quality grass is the plan by the looks of it. Um, I think 98% was the common. So I don't know if 98% is the maximum on it. Um, it might be. But I'm not sure. Right. So um, we are... Oh goodness me. This thing doesn't even want to reverse. Yeah. Um, but we are gonna jump into a time lapse and we're gonna get the bailing done here. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Um, also, there hasn't been any comments or anything on these fields, these two fields. What are we doing with them? Are we reseeding them? And if so, what are we putting into them? So let me know about that. Otherwise, they're just gonna sort of sit bare. Um, but. Yeah, so we're going to uh, jump into a real quick time lapse and we're going to get this field knocked out. At least it's not a big field, so it shouldn't take too long at all, even if we have to drive up and down and to do the bailing. But yeah, for now, sit back, relax and enjoy. Well, I saw you Setting the mood like a light in a smoky room Dancing to the blues like a disco groove Catching every eye When I saw you Looking at me with a smile like you wanted me Saying, boy, come on, will I break, be gone I just had to try You just move, baby All right, well, that is baling done, and we'll go and do the bale collection a little bit later on, or maybe even in the next episode. But firstly, I have to say I am so sorry. Honest, honest apology. This is indeed a cow shed. All cows. I genuinely thought that this was for sheep but i mean yeah if you look at the inside th that's cows so um my apologies that was definitely my mistake so i am go gonna go ahead and go with that voted comment and we are gonna sell this building um and sort of everything around it so we go there four hundred and forty eight thousand dollars 
So we're going to sell that. And then all of the little bits and pieces around it. Because um, it's kind of no point, really. Um, I'm hoping it only did that retaining wall. Yes, it did. Okay. So, um, that is... That done. So, we can actually extend this field and make it a little bit bigger. Um, we'll probably have to cut down the trees, to be fair. So, um, yeah, I might have to do that. Oh, and I just noticed we have got a bit of produce down here. Nice. Oh, we've got loads of strawberries. Four pallets of strawberries. So we'll get to selling that as well. But there we go. So we are now sitting on $522,000, which is fantastic. And um, yeah, we'll have to cut these two trees down. Or we might actually just sort of go around them. I think for now, I'll leave them there. And then you guys can decide whether we're going to cut them down. Or we're just sort of going to work around them. Let me know. But there you go. So yeah, again, my apologies... I genuinely, genuinely thought that was sheep. So, um, whoever made that comment, um, of getting rid of it, and I definitely hope that this is the right one, because the way I see it, that's north. Um, so that is the northern cow shed, and this is east, northeast. Um, so, yeah, I hope that was the right one, but yeah, whoever made that comment, I am really sorry. Uh, that was my mistake. I genuinely, genuinely thought that that was a sheep pen, not a cow pen. So, we, I don't think we've got a sheep pen then. We've only got the little chicken one. So, I mean, we can always build one. Um, but, yeah, there you go. Right, so we have got that done. But we are going to get the big Alice Chalmers out uh, for the first time, I think. So I'm excited for this, and we are going to get that um, chisel plow connected up, and we're going to get into that field over there. Is the gate open? Um, it is indeed. So, um, again, I don't know if we are going to get all of the field work done in today's episode, but whatever I, I don't get done today, we can always carry on in the next episode. Um, it will be hard to sort of get everything done without making the episodes like an hour long. Um, because a lot of the, the suggestions is a lot of work, but that's absolutely fine. We'll just sort of work around it and we'll just have to try and not take on too many big jobs where it just piles up and we never really get it done. Um, okay, great. We cannot connect up to that. That is a problem. That is a big problem. Hmm. That is a very big problem. We cannot hook up to that plow. In fact, I don't think we're going to be able to hook up to any plow. Or a cultivator. So. So. We are going to have to. Maybe buy another tractor. Unless I can get some sort of an attacher for this. So. Um, I'm going to have a look in the shop. If we can get anything that will attach to this. That we can attach to that. But I... I'm not holding my breath, to be honest. So, yeah. Let's see. Alright, well, I have got a solution. Now, I mean, it's not a great solution. It's called a trailed lifter. But it is a solution. So, yeah. I mean, this is going to make things pretty tricky because it makes the implements really long. Um, like, this is just your standard... Um, chisel plow which is that size and instead now it's that size and it's going to make absolutely everything can you imagine the cultivator how long that's going to be so i was kind of thinking about just you know admitting i screwed up and replacing the tractor at no cost um but then i found this and i thought well let, let's go with this for now and um yeah, this is going to make life pretty difficult for myself. So, yeah, that's fun. I mean, if you guys want me to replace the tractor, I can. But because we do actually have a solution here, which I didn't take out of um, the kitty. Um, because that was just my mistake of getting a tractor that can't actually hook up to like 80% of our implements. Um... But if we do replace the tractor, we'll have to pay for it. 
normally because we do now have a solution where we can use our implements it's definitely not ideal but it is usable seems quite awkward to reverse as well right so um this episode is already quite long to be honest oh that is moving actually 17 kilometers an hour that that has no problem at all i think this thing is like 300 horsepower or something like that if i'm not mistaken um but yeah the the episode is moving along quite quickly so we are going to jump back into a time lapse and we are at least going to try and plow and i know this is sort of well i would call this a ripper um, but i think it's a chisel plow um so it's not like proper proper plowing but it's chisel plowing and it'll do it'll do just fine um the the normal method of plowing takes very 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 long um but yeah so so we are going to do plowing on the two fields here uh we're gonna get that knocked out oh that actually worked pretty well there with that corner because it's so long it can actually basically make the corner no problem um i i don't think we're gonna get to seeding today so i'm gonna try and just plow both fields and if we can at least at least do that i would be pretty happy why does it feel like this thing just snakes all the time this is quite awkward to drive but um yeah i'm gonna try and get at least the plowing done today and i don't know if we'll get to do anything else i'll see where we're standing in terms of time for the episode but if not we'll just carry on in the next episode and get these fields knocked out but for now we're gonna jump into that time lapse so sit back relax and enjoy We were biked their tires on paved concrete on the right roads. Just had the wrong wheels, but I see you back in town. Same shortcut jeans, my head still spins, my heart still feels like riding a bike. Just you and I down the long back road Your brown hair blowing In the wind like a divide day And all those teenage summer nights When I love you, you love me too It was so easy to get that feeling When our eyes meet, I can hop back on our love life Like riding a bike Like riding a bike Babe, our hands still fit You still get that smile And you want and curves Still drive me wild And bring me right back To wishing I didn't have to go And thinking maybe we should give it one more try tonight Just take it slow like riding a bike Right, well, that is job done. Well, I mean, that's the plowing done. And unfortunately, that's all we're going to get done for today. And also, the bales aren't ready uh, to be sold just yet. They're about 
87% fermented, so we'll leave that till the next episode as well. But that actually looks really, really cool. I like that. I like the little island in the middle as well. Um, so I did come in afterwards and just sort of cleared up the concrete and filled it up with grass, just so it sort of looks natural. Um, and we don't have pieces of concrete sitting everywhere because there was some bits and pieces down here as well. And I sort of covered up where the road was back here. Just covered up with a little bit of grass. So it sort of looks nice and natural. But that was actually a really good idea. Because, I mean, if it was a sheep pen, which I thought it was, um, it probably kind of made sense over there. But to be fair, can't really see the point in having two cow pens. So, um, yeah, that, that actually makes more sense. I, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so, yeah, who, whoever gave that idea, um, you'll know who you are. Good idea. Um, I quite like that. And, um, yeah, again, sorry that I sort of, yeah, m missed the whole thing about the cows. Um, so, that is that. And we're still sitting on, well, we're sitting on $522,000. So, for the little landscaping jobs and that, um, I don't deduct that off the actual money. That is just aesthetics. Um, just so it kind of looks nice. Um, so for the minute, um, the vote was to plant this with barley, uh, which would eventually become chicken feed. Um, so unless voted otherwise on this video or a future video, um, that will be what will happen to this here. And um, yeah, let me know about those bales that are fertilizing up there. Um, at the moment, as things stand, uh, we will be selling them in the next episode unless voted otherwise. So if you're happy with me selling them, and don't worry about it, that'll happen. If you don't want me to sell them, well, then you have to let me know and let others vote on that. So, um, yeah. So please make sure to leave your suggestions for the next video um, in the comment section below this video. And then go like all of the little comments that you would like to see on there. And um, if you don't know already, I go through every week and pick the highest rated comments. And that's what happens on this farm. Um, like selling buildings and um, making nice big fields and all. So yeah, that was that was pretty cool. That was a fun day. I actually really enjoyed that. So the other field, we'll go over there and have a look at it real quick. Looks really good as well. That little tool that we got um, actually worked really well. I can imagine it'll probably be a problem when you have like a long cultivator or something on it. Um, or cedar for that matter would be probably quite difficult but um, for what we did today it actually did end up working really well so there we are there's the other field and um, ready to go so for the moment this is going to become a sort of high quality grass area so yeah but we are going to leave it there for today so i don't know i feel like today's episode was a bit all over the place and it feels like there was a lot of mistakes that sort of came up today with the sort of sheep pen and then the tractor and that sort of thing and the the little gator so my apologies for that um it's just stuff that um yeah either i miss or is just sort of out of my control um but i think it was um pretty good i think we made good progress on the farm we've also got the bales to collect just down here so that's good let me know what you want to do with them um after collection are we keeping them or selling them so we've got some straw bales down there but that is going to be it for today guys so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you all next time